I got to admit, Matt, when you pitched this, I wasn't sure how to feel about it, but I love the idea of exploring the single biggest mistake every beginner in magic makes, all within the context of one of the easiest tricks we've ever taught. Absolutely. To, to me, the biggest beginner mistake, I still make it from time to time, is just saying what you're doing. I'm spreading the cards. Take a card. I'm shuffling the cards. I found your card. Let's take that easy trick we're talking about and just explore that. Well, I don't know if you've ever read Patrick Rothfuss's uh, Name of the Wind, but he talks about the purpose of a wizard or magician in his mm -hmm. world is to break his mind in two. And I know, I know he was doing it in a narrative sense, but it really rang true to me because it's almost as though you have to have a narrative side of your brain and then a tech crew side of your brain. Yeah, and absolutely. when you first start doing it, you can't help but just narrate. It's hard, you're not quite broken. You're going through the steps, but you don't know what to say other than now I'm doing this. Now I'm doing that. Like, for example, exactly. uh, we learned the key card trick many different times. And for the uninitiated, all you got to do is know the bottom card on the deck. You can spread the cards. Here, I'm going to spread the cards yeah. for you, Matt. Pull out a card. Take a look at the card. Remember the card. And now I just want you to say stop. And you will stop. Stop. There you go. And now I'm going to put the key card right on top of your card. And now I'm gonna cut the deck a whole bunch of times. Boy, this is, I feel dirty. You do, even, even you as do. I do this. Oh, look, I'm cutting the deck so much that none of us know where your card is. Now I'm gonna look for what I think your card is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boy, if you ever find yourself saying, hold on, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and then I, I look for the card, the key card that we noticed earlier, and I know that the card underneath it is, is your card. And so I say, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then the worst is just say, yes, yes. I want to help people stop doing that. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> even that, I mean, yes, it's a terrible trick, but it will fool some people. So how do you fix something like this? Let's make it better. Okay. We'll just, we'll do a couple steps. Uh, I think, I think you even taught this at one point, but our key card's going to be four. Yep. Four, uh, four, four of spades. Of spades. Yep. I should remember that. Okay. And we'll let you take any card you want. Yep. And again, I'm narrating. Yeah, you, you, but this is, this is, it's hard. It's, it's a hard. better thing when you're narrating. Go, oh my goodness. Uh, so now I'm going to put some importance on that. I want you to remember the card. And oh, you know what? Make that your favorite card. Okay. Now I'm improvising. Okay. I have a favorite card in the deck. Okay. I'll tell you what it is later. Okay. <laughs> it's not great, but, but it's better. I know, it's, it's better. It's better. And then I'll have you put it back. And I say stop. Stop, and then a little subtlety. Uh-oh. What did uh -oh. you do? Wait, what just happened? I might have just messed this trick up. Uh, wait, did? I didn't. We'll get to that. What, what is happening? So, a little more ceremony on it. Yeah. And I'm going to say, wouldn't it be interesting if your favorite card and my favorite card found each other? Oh. Oh, okay, yes it would. And I'll tell you mine, we can even say it at the same time. Okay, ready? Yeah, Three. four of spades. Four, four, four of clubs. You, really, the four of clubs? They're not together, are they? Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, are, are you doing another one of those math things <laughs> no. where I think it's a show about one thing but you're really scamming me? No, not at all. What just happened? Uh, because this is not the key card trick. It is though. It's just a coincidence they were the same card. Oh. It just happened to match. That's hilarious. Okay, so let me learn <laughs> okay. this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so so all you did, man, I can't believe we're just covering the key card again. I know, we're just so, jamming on the key card. Seven of clubs <laughs> is my key card. You you take a card yep. out of there. That's gonna be your card. <laughs> all right, so, so uh, and then uh, what, you, Threw this down until they say stop. Yep. And and again, we've taught this before, but you're just keeping the the key card on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Minor variation. And then so you. Set I peeled that off the bottom just so I could keep shuffling. How, how do you? I, I don't think I've done just that. Just grab a little you from just, the bottom. You just peel. Oh wait, you. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be just the one. No. How did? How did oh. I never see? So that's such a that's such a instantly good better than just slapping them down on top. Okay, now, now I'm learning. <laughs> you, Matt, you bring me the most delightful stuff. Uh, okay, so so my key card is going to be the Hive of Diamonds. We're going to go to one of my all-time stories of the key card trick. Okay. Because we talked about how just describing what you're doing is dumb. I got a challenge for you, Matt. Okay. Just pick one. Doesn't matter. All right, I don't want to see it, but you take a moment. Make sure you know it because this won't work if you if you see it later. I want you to just say stop whenever you want. Stop. There you go. Put that on there. There we go. And then, oh, wow. And so now I'm using your subtlety of just grabbing off the bottom. Yep. Uh, oh, that's great. And then, and then, okay, at this point, 
I can only cut. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the thing. You're doing the okay. thing. Back mm. it up. It's so easy to slip into just describing what it you're is. doing. It really is. If you are going to just describe what you're doing, at least give a context to it. Say, I want to make this as fair as I can. If I just keep cutting the cards like this, you're going to think he knows what he's doing with the deck of cards. He's probably controlling it in some way, so I'm going to let you do it. Pull as many cards as you want off the top. Okay. Just set them down. So at this point, I'm still narrating, but at least I'm justifying every action. Yeah. And I'll cut it one more time. You remember your card, right? I think I do. I'm so sorry. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Oh, sh you know what's funny is, did you forget your key card? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my key card. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, pot, it's me, Kettle. You're black. <laughs> All right, for reals this time. I'm definitely gonna remember my card. You definitely me, remember yeah, yours. <laughs> but, okay. but again, everything we said before still applies. Yep. So, there okay. you go. <laughs> I just stopped for you. Okay, I'm using your subtlety. I love that, man. And then you That's can go so back good. to the top if you want after that. Yeah, and then I could even put it on bottom and stuff. Yeah. It's like all sandwiched in there. And we're justifying the cuts on there. Still remembering my key card. <laughs> and then this is my favorite framework for the key card because at this point, I don't really say what's going on. I just set up, you watch for your card. You remember your card, right? I do. If you see your card, do not react. You're gonna be watching the cards. I'm gonna be watching you. Okay. I've got eagle eyes and I'm an expert in micro expressions. See, now I've given a context. Matt? Mm-hmm. Will you buy me a drink if the next card I turn over is your card? I'll buy you two drinks. What? Oh, in your face! Oh, you're so sneaky. <laughs> so that at least adds a second layer to it. And, and of course, what you do is you see your key card, you keep going past it, make sure to kind of kick it out, right? You're, you're like, card, card, card. And then there's my key card. So the next one I kick out so it stays visible as I go through the deck. And sometimes it's fun to go like way far. And every so often their card will, will genuinely be the last one in the deck. Oh, yeah. At which point you could go all the way back to the beginning. This is my favorite part is when you lie without saying anything. You imply that this is the card you're talking about. How much will you bet that the next card I turn over will be your card? That's still discursive. I think I'm using that word right, but it gives you a context and an opportunity for more improvisation. It allows you to do more st storytelling. It does, it does. Uh, so that's good. We started with just, you're just describing the mechanics of what you're doing, yep. which is, eh. Uh, look, it's, it's pretty bad, let's yeah. face it. Then we added a little bit of Context to it, uh, meaning a little bit of interaction with the person rather yeah, than just opportunity to improvise and to give context. Yeah, and to me, the third way to do it would be to tell a prepared story using the cards. Yeah, and this is something we've talked about before. To me, I, I'm, I'm of the same mind that a good magic routine should be able to exist in a vacuum without the magic. You should be able to get yes. up there and mime everything and still bring people to tears at the end. I mean, David Copperfield made that famous. He did uh, McDonald's Aces, but he told the story about his grandfather. And I don't need to see the Aces coming together or whatever to be really moved by that, yeah. right? So uh, what would that look like with the key card? You could tell a story about, uh, you know, your grandfather once taught you, let's just borrow from Copperfield. Okay. <laughs> you know, my grandfather once told me that two souls when they really connect, magic happens. Let's say you're at the bar and you're trying to make a connection with a somebody. Connection. You might uh, uh, note your key card, in this case, the two of spades. My grandfather said that it doesn't matter where two people come from and you shouldn't rely on commonalities, that a true connection will be totally random. So we're gonna make it random by having you pick one of these cards. See, I like it already. I like it already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hard to believe I'm making all of this know, up as I we know. go. <laughs> now, Part of the reason we picked this card is because it's absent of any context. It's truly random. Kind of like two people coming together in the moment. I can't believe I'm kidding on you. This is great. Two people <laughs> meeting in a bar. Remember that <laughs> card, though. OK. You got it? Yeah. Just tell me when to stop. Go ahead and stop. Got it. There you go. We're going to put it in there using Matt's subtlety. My grandfather told me that a true connection even if you get lost in the woods from each other, you'll find each other. So it's not a matter of following a breadcrumbs. Like in this case, I might notice that your card's somewhere in the middle. So he would tell me that everything should be truly in chaos. And if a connection is supposed to happen, it'll happen. This is great. I'm writing a great routine right you, now. You have a weird grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you cut the cards. Cut some number of cards off. Oh, there we go. Excellent, excellent. And then I'll cut them again. Now neither of us knows where the card is, right? Let's find out <laughs> if we have a real connection. <laughs> 
I'm going to spread all the cards out right in front of you, and I want you to hold out your hand. Point one finger out, just like this. I'm going to feel for your pulse a little okay. bit closer, a little okay. bit closer. Okay. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now, at this point, I don't know what your card is. I don't know where your card is. All I know is that right now we have a connection. I can feel your pulse right now. And as we get close to your card, if we have a connection, your pulse will race, and I will feel your card. The <laughs> Jack of Hearts! That's not a, that's not a bad framework. It's not. I'm it's not, not gonna lie. Just, just toast me. <laughs> Awkward toast! <laughs>